What's up guys, going on your boy here, Ryan Rye Beats. Uh, we're in a dark room or in the garage with the safety lights on. What we're planning to do today is we're gonna make a flattening screen, okay? All right, guys. So the first thing we gotta do is, we basically we gotta sacrifice a screen. Um, I have a 230 here that I'm gonna be using. Uh, it's already coated. This has the photo blue polymer or whatever you want to call it. So what we're gonna do is we'll just burn the screen uh, with no artwork on it. I don't even know why I have a have this thing on, but um, let's go and burn the screen. All right, let's go ahead and put this on here. Let's go. 30 seconds. Voila. Cool. Now we don't need to expose it or we don't need to wash it out, but um, we're going to put this out in the sun. Let it cure a little bit more. All right, so while the sun's doing that, let's go ahead and prep. So some of the items we're gonna be needing is spray adhesive. I'm gonna be using this Gorilla spray adhesive glue, Teflon sheet, this blue tape. It's, uh, it's a screen printing tape, but it's very, uh, I don't know, it's very sticky. And if you guys are wondering, this Teflon sheet is 16, I think 16 by 20. Yep, 16 by 20. Okay, 16 by 20. All right, so what I wanna do, this is a, uh, uh, 23 by 31 screen 23 by 31 all right so all I want to do is I want to set this Teflon sheet all right so this Teflon sheet I want to put it down to at least five inches down like so okay All we gotta do now is shake this up. Take this thing off. Let's go ahead and spray it. Okay, I gotta do is get our tape. Okay, I know it's not pretty, but there's our flattening screen. I don't know what this is, I think this bubbles. Either bubbles or that's where I didn't get the um, <laughs> any of the adhesive, but that is it. We gotta do now, um, I'll probably use like black ink or something. Just squeegee it on there. But yeah, that's our flattening screen right there. Awesome. It's not perfect, but it'll do its job. Cool. All right, guys, that's it. Quick little video on how to make a flattening screen. I'm probably gonna be using it on the next project that's coming up. Uh, yeah, so stay tuned for that, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, guys, peace.